OK, cars on the grid then. Impressive grid of Citroen 2 CVs out there. And here is your grid. It is number 97, Pete Sparrow in pole position. 2 CV racing legend starts alongside number 89, Nick Crispin. Second row, the Proietti father and son pairing, Sandro and son Luca in number 30 on row two. Row three, Chris Tovey in car number 49 and 79, David O'Keefe. On the fourth row, 41, Martin Ryman, the ex-Fiat racing champion and four of Mick Storey. The fifth row, number 40, Chris Yates alongside Simon Turner in 81. On row six, number 96, Chris Hall and 72, Matthew Hollis. On row seven, 21 of Mark Grasby alongside 70, Nigel Hollis. Three members of the Hollis family should be in this race. On the eighth row, 71, John Widowson alongside uh, 30, tw number 23, rather, Kevin Pope. Then on number nine, on uh, row number nine, 82, Andy Donaldson, 67, Ron Mears. The tenth row, 47, Max Wyatt and 28, Lawrence Broadhurst and 55, Julie Walford rounds out the grid. Now, these cars... Uh, entered under team names so uh, they can be shared by two drivers a few of these cars will have one driver in for this race and somebody else in race two because it's the uh, car or the team that scores the points not the individual driver and that all adds up ahead of the uh, big the big race for the two cvs their 24-hour race which takes place at snetterton i believe that's over august bank holiday weekend this year it is a great fun event a great fun championship this is this will be a 15-minute race Look out for the Team Hollis cars, the blue and orange, almost golf livery cars further back as away we go for Citroen 2CV race one. Pete Sparrow leads them a slow start there for Sandro Proietti in the number 92 car. Number 72 moving up there, that's uh, Matthew Hollis for the family team as they make their way into Paddock Bend for the first time. Number 47 at the back is Max Wire in the grey arrow as that car is known. It's 97, Pete Sparrow who has got the lead as they head up to Druid's for the first time, second is Nick Crispin in the number 89. Sandro Proietti slipped back down the order, not in his usual car. Normally shares Luca's number 30 car there. He's in third. Number 49, Chris Tovey, the dark grey car in uh, fourth place. The Beacon Down racing car. 81 running uh, a bit wide there over the kerb. That's uh, Simon Turner in Tête Rouge. So they head their way around Surtees for the first time. Pete Sparrow leads in the number 97 team Lion Cup sponsored by Sparrow Automotive side by side there David O'Keefe the other team Lion car with the number 41 that's Martin Ryman the ex-Fiat star in the uh, Twin Snails entered car they nicknamed Tin Snails of course these cars the car that put France on four wheels the Citroen 2CV what a wonderful sight they make these cars out there Number 41, Martin Ryman, side by side with Matthew Hollis in the 72. But it's Sparrow who leads by just under half a second on the uh, first lap. They ease their way through into Paddock Bend. The 52 has dropped back to the uh, rear of the field, I think that was. Oh, and three, well, three wide. Look at this uh, further back in the pack there. Matthew Hollis, David O'Keefe and the 41 of Martin Ryman. Next Fiat Racing Champion. Look at this down the inside. Three wide into Graham Hill. Ben, this is good stuff. David O'Keefe runs wide, nearly bounces off Matthew Hollis, has to go over the curb. Number four, Mick Storey, is uh, in there as well in the Rosie Racing number four car. All of the Storey family have raced Rosie over the years, car number four. They start to string their way out then, but it is Pete Sparrow with the lead in number 97. They're all over each other, look at this. Three wide there, Mark Grasby in the 21 makes it three. Well, Sandro Proietti out onto the gravel in the 92, he's going dirt tracking. Well, the original design brief for the 2CV said that uh, it had to be able to cross a farmer's field loaded with eggs without breaking any, and uh, that was what Sandro Proietti was testing there. Four wide, look at this into Paddock Pen. There's four of them wide. Mark Grasby in the middle, David O'Keefe, uh, number 40 of Chris Yates up on the outside. This is brilliant stuff. As we say, they may not be the quickest cars here, but they are probably the most entertaining this weekend. Mark Grasby, number 21. As his, name befit, as his name befits him, an ex-grass track racer, has got ahead of David O'Keefe in the Team Lion Cup. Mark Grasby, number 21, driving for GR Racing. 81 has dropped behind them. That's uh, Tête Rouge. So Sparrow from Crispin by about three quarters of a second up front. Luca Proietti is still third, ahead of Chris Tovey in the 49. 92, the Crisis Racing car of uh, Sandro Proietti. As we say, uh, has switched cars this weekend 
racing the car normally driven by Nick Rhodes. Fifth place is now Martin Ryman ahead of Matthew Hollis and uh, Mick Storey. Here's the second place battle. They're going, this is almost like legends racing. They're almost bump drafting each other. Chris Tovey has got up into third place in the dark grey number 49 car. All over the back of Nick Crispin's 89, the Dayglow red car for second place. The next group is headed up by Martin Ryman in the classic 41 factory racing car. Also prepared by Twin Snails. Through Druids, they uh, buzz their way through. It's 2CV Parts.com Classic Citroen 2CV Championship. 2CV Parts.com run by uh, Roy Eastwood. He'll be out in race two uh, driving the number 55 car taking over from Julie Walford car prepared by Julie's husband Steve they're running towards the tail of the field at the moment in fact she's made her way up to 13th place Julie Walford there's a challenge on here for second place Nick Crispin under fire from Chris Tovey squeezes him wide there Luca Proietti could uh, get in here as well in the blue and white number 30 the Bacon racing car they're going to go three wide or try to as they come out onto the Brabham straight Proietti goes for the inside not enough room there nearly gets onto the grass Chris Tovey surely will take second place here, but they're losing ground all the time to uh, Pete Sparrow in the number 97. Over 10 minutes of this race still to go. Yep, Sparrow, there he is, nearly two seconds up now. Martin Ryman heads the next pair with Mick Storey. There's number 47. That's driven by Max Wyatt, the Grey Arrows racing car towards the uh, tail of the field. Here comes Proietti on the inside, and uh, Nick Crispin's gone wide. Through goes Proietti. He's got both of them up into second place. Chris Tovey will fight back. And now Crispin's lot, lot, lost that momentum. It's going to take him about another lap to win it back again because uh, that's what you need. You've got to keep the momentum up in these cars. They don't touch the brakes very often in these two CVs. They don't need to. Here comes uh, Nick Crispin taking third place back again. But it's Pete Sparrow, the uh, Citroen 2CV specialist garage owner who prepares a lot of these uh, cars' engines, looks after a lot of the uh, teams. He leads the way, Chris Tovey in the number 49, very smart looking grey car, fighting back on the tail of the 89 of Nick Crispin. Just under 10 minutes to go in this first uh, Citroen 2CV race of the day. This is great stuff. There goes Pete Sparrow, the Team Lion car. He's won the 24-hour race at Snetterton many times. There's the next group, and Sandro Proietti's fought back well. He's back up to seventh. There's David O'Keefe, the second team lion car. Matthew Hollis attacking him. Here's the fight for second. Nick Crispin all over the back. He's won the momentum back now on the tail of Luca Proietti. There's Martin Ryman, the orange car, ahead of Mick Storey in uh, Rosie, the number four Rosie racing car. Sandro Proietti in number 92, the team crisis car behind him. He had a bit of a crisis earlier, didn't he? Running wide through the gravel at uh, Clearways. David O'Keefe, Mark Grasby, Matthew Hollis, next in the order. It's a shame this race is only 15 minutes long, really. Of course, they have their long race at the end of the season, the 24-hour race on August Bank Holiday weekend at Snetterson in Norfolk. David O'Keefe under fire from Mark Grasby, the number 21, the GR racing car. 79, David O'Keefe ahead of him, the other driver who was in that first ever race 32 years ago. Matthew Hollis has got ahead of um, number 40 there of Chris Yates. That's the Blueberry Muffins car. I wonder if they've got any Blueberry Muffins baking in the pit garage. Swing their way through. This is the second place fights. Luca Proietti, Nick Crispin and Chris Tovey almost three wide down to Graham Hill. Ben, that's not going to work, surely. Of course it's going to work. This is Citroen 2CV racing. Absolutely wonderful. They're fighting for second, but losing ground all the time to Pete Sparrow. He's three and a half seconds up near enough. Now a bit of bump drafting there from uh, Nick Crispin, but he's lost out to Chris Tovey in the 49 who goes through. Behind uh, Ryman and Storey, fifth and sixth, Sandro Proietti's back up to seventh. So Keith Grasby and Matthew Hollis next, then... Uh, Chris Yates is 11th, Simon Turner 12th, Julie Walford from the back of the grid is up to 13th. Then we've got the 96, which is Chris Hall. Nigel Hollis, I believe is Matthew's father, rounding out the uh, top 15. Still the battle for second rages on. Chris Tovey around the outside 
into Paddock Hill Bend. Next group headed by Ryman. Here comes Sandro Proietti, the green and blue car. It's Pete Sparrow dominating proceedings as he so often does in Citroën 2CV racing. One car has gone a lap down there. I think that might be the number 28 of Lawrence Broadhurst, the uh, SL racing car. Switching from mechanic to driver this season. Side by side, look at this for a second. Nick Crispin on the outside of Luca Proietti. They're coming up on that uh, back marker, that is Lawrence Broadhurst, the blue car. They're still together here. They, you can't separate these cars if they're tied together with a piece of string. Fighting it out at the 89 and the 30. They have to go wide there. Oh, and uh, Luca Proietti off through the gravel. I don't think it'll bog down. His car's virtually built to go off-road, and uh, Luca Proietti saves it, but he's lost out to Nick Crispin. They uh, encountered the 28 of Lawrence Broadhurst there, where they didn't want to. Now, uh, Luca Proietti, has he got to... Yeah, I think he's got a puncture, quite possibly. Luca Proietti, there's some damage there. I saw some smoke. There's a change further back as well. Sandro, Luca's father, getting past Mick Storey. They've gone past Martin Ryman as well. Now, we'll keep an eye on that blue and white car of Luca Proietti, whether he has got some damage there to the underside of the car from that trip into the gravel. There is Sandro Proietti. His old Fiat racing rival, Martin Ryman's a couple of places behind him. There is Mick Storey in the rosy racing number four. Five minutes to go, and Pete Sparrow has now opened out a lead of nearly five and a half seconds over Chris Tovey in second. The number 41 car is going to be taken over for the second race by one of my favourite names I've ever heard in motorsport. The driver for race two is Sir Aubrey Brocklebank. Real name, no joke. We'll see him out later on. Number 92, Sandro Proietti, laps 28 of Lawrence Broadhurst. George Broadhurst will take over that car for race two. Blue flag being waved in there to warn him the quicker cars are coming through. There goes Mick Storey. We've seen Katie Storey and Lauren Storey raced that uh, car in the family team over the years. As the lower reaches of the top ten come through. Now, Luca Proietti is still going in fourth place, so uh, I don't think he's got any damage. thought he may have punctured a tyre when he went through the gravel, but he's still there. Sandro is farther in fifth. Nice little sideways moment there from Mick Storey. You can get a Citroen 2 CV sideways, that proves. Here comes Martin Ryman in the 41 you'll sometimes see on the tighter corners these drivers leaning these little Citroen 2 CVs round really it's terrific entertainment things settling down now after the uh, frantic early stages but not for Martin Ryman he's all over the back of Mick's story has a look on the inside no you don't says Mick with a vastly experienced 2 CV racer See, he's got the uh, folding side window open there, Mick Storey, on his Citroen 2 CV. So, just under three and a half minutes to go. Nick Crispin, meanwhile, has got back up into second place. He's retaken Chris Tubby. Plenty of fighting further back. Mark Grasby under fire from Matthew Hollis as they come through towards Paddock Bend. He goes through into ninth place. Behind them, Chris Yates and Simon Turner. There's number 55, that's Julie Walford, started at the back of the grid and is up to 13. In the car prepared by her husband Steve's team. Roy Eastwood, the owner of 2CVparts.com, will take over that car in race two. And Martin Ryman up the inside to Graham Hill, Ben gets the move done on Mick Storey. There's Nick Crispin, he's back into second, but they're well behind Pete Sparrow. The Citroen 2CV racing legend, over eight seconds clear now. David O'Keefe. No, that was Pete Sparrow, in fact, in some back marker traffic. Apologies there. Who's he coming up to lap? Let's have a look. Uh, 82, which is Andy Donaldson, the regimental racing car. That's the orange car there going a lap down. Andy Donaldson for regimental racing. It says on the driver notes over, Andy Donaldson, the only driver with a bird in a cage in his camper van. Interesting uh, sight in the pits, wouldn't it? 23 there, that is uh, Kevin Pope. 
in the Jelly Snake racing car. Notice the Jelly Snake on the livery there over the roof. And he's got the number 70, which is Nigel Hollis, Hollis Senior behind him. Here's a battle being lapped. 67, Ron Mears goes a lap down. That's Niggle 2K Racing. Where, where do they get these team names from? That's Citroen 2CV Racing, I suppose. 47 there, the uh, pale grey car, the grey arrow of Max Wyatt. Here's the fight for second coming over the line, just over a minute to go, so I think we are now possibly into the last lap. We may get one more out of it. We'll wait and see if the flag comes out this time around. Nick Crispin still holding off Chris Tovey for second place. There's Luca Proietti fourth, Sandro Proietti fifth. And then this battle for sixth, still not resolved between Martin Ryman and Mick Storey. There's David O'Keefe. There's Crispin running deep through Druids. Has he, got, has he got a safe gap here over the third placeman of Chris Tubby? There he is. Tubby bouncing over the curbs. There is Pete Sparrow. We may get another lap out of this. Depends how quickly he gets to the line this time through the uh, number 97 Team Lion car of Pete Sparrow. see as he comes through yeah I think we will get one more lap out of this Sparrow nearly nine seconds clear over the line he goes another lap for Mick Storey to throw everything he's got at Martin Ryman for sixth place second place fight here has got a few back markers ahead of it number 82 Andy Donaldson things settling down now really with the exception of that battle for six just coming over the line now it's going to be a victory for Pete Sparrow, barring any major disaster. His team lion teammate in eighth place, David O'Keefe. Now, Nick Crispin's got to get through this little lot. Number 71 there, that's John Widowson in one of the Hollis Motorsport cars is lapped. 47 Max Wire lets him through as well. No problems with the back markers here. Through they come. Sky going rather dark in the closing stage of this race. I hope uh, we're not going to have any of the wet stuff. Number 97, Pete Sparrow, through the final corner. The clock has counted down to zero. About to add to his long list of Citroen 2CV Championship victories in the UK. Here he comes, number 97, Pete Sparrow. A flag-to-flag -flag victory. Over the line he goes. Straightforward win for Pete Sparrow. Second place will go to Nick Crispin. He just holds off Chris Tovey over the line. Good battle between them. Luca Proietti fourth. Fifth place a bit further back should be Sandro Proetti. Yes, there is the team crisis car in fifth. Who's going to top the battle for sixth? It is going to be Martin Ryman in the orange 41. He just heads home by a couple of Citroen 2CV lengths. Mick Storey. Next through will be David O'Keefe in the number 79 team lion car. Mark Grasby is ninth in number 21. And Matthew Hollis, 72, completing the top 10.